When you have someone on your site, you want to maximize the number of page views and earnings. Today, I'm going to show you nine on-page and internal link strategies that will help you get more page views, more earnings, and oh, it will help you rank better in Google as well. Let's jump into it. Now, if you're unaware, I'm the founder of Link Whisper, a tool I consider to be the best internal link building WordPress plugin out there. However, today I'm going to share nine little known strategies for using Link Whisper or other internal linking tools to grow your traffic and earnings. My personal favorite strategies in this list is number five and number eight. So be sure to stick around for those. Up first is click reporting. Do you know how many clicks each of the links on your pages are getting? Let's take a look at an example. So within Link Whisper, I have a clicks report. I can see all of the link clicks, the internal links that my pages have been getting. So I have a bunch of pages that I could look at, but let's just look at my About Me page. Now I can see that it's gotten over 3,000 link clicks since the, the lifetime, or at least since it's been tracking it, but it's gotten 70 clicks over the last 30 days. And if I look at a detailed click report, I can see both the internal and external links that each link is getting. So as I look at this, I can see the, the total number of clicks within a chart here. So I can see it trending over time. And then I can also see that, okay, Motion Invest is getting a lot of link clicks. My Contact Me page is getting a lot of link clicks. And then I can go in and start optimizing. For example, I see that I'm getting a lot of clicks on my LinkedIn page. That really isn't that valuable to me. So maybe I would remove that internal link and try to get more people to perhaps click on my community, right? If you want to find out more about what I'm up to, you can go over to the Niche Pursuits community. And so I can do that. And so I can start to optimize which specific links with the anchor text is getting the most clicks. And so optimizing this is gonna get you more earnings, gonna get you more clicks to other pages on your site, and really is just gonna make your site a more valuable experience for your visitors. So a little known thing is to track the clicks of your both internal and external links. Link Whisper does that automatically for you. All right, strategy number two is fixing broken links. Let me show you how easy this is with Link Whisper. All right, so within Link Whisper, I have the broken links report, and it very quickly just shows me which links are working and which ones are not, right? So it, it categorized that as them as internal links or external links. So I can see that there's actually some websites where I'm getting 404 or server not found errors, request timeout errors, right? So if I've got some external links that are 404, like this Giphy link apparently is no longer working, I can just remove that. I can just click the X, hit that, and then uh, that link is just going to be completely removed from my website, right? It's already done. It's gone out and it's removed. It went out to that article. It did that. So I can quickly go in here, see what's working, see what's not, remove it, or I can edit this, right? If I think, oh, I actually know what the correct URL is, I can come in here. Instead of going out to the website, I can fix that, hit the check mark, and it's all done. So fixing these broken links, of course, is a traditional strategy that it's, it's very, very important. But a bonus tip for you is that if you have any YouTube links, those have often been hard to find. Uh, but Link Whisper now can find and tell you if you have broken YouTube embeds or other broken YouTube links. This could be huge across your website. You can quickly fix those again with the broken links report. Strategy number three is to optimize your anchor text. This strategy is really meant to help you rank better in Google, which in turn will help you get more page views on your site. So let's check out how to optimize anchor text. All right, so here I am within my internal links report on Link Whisper. It lists all of my articles, how many inbound internal links, which is really important for ranking, and how many outbound internal links it has as well. But what I wanna show you is how to optimize that anchor text. So if I look at the inbound internal links, that's a signal to Google basically that, hey, this anchor text is what I'm trying to rank this page for. So how to become an Amazon reviewer, 
that is probably a lot of the anchor text that I would like to be using, okay? And so as I go through here and I expand this, I can quickly see this second line is the anchor text across nine internal links on my site. This first one, Amazon Business Opportunities, in your opinion, is starting a product niche review. That is not a great anchor text. This other one, how to become an Amazon reviewer, that's great. Amazon reviewer, that's great. I can quickly go through which of these is a good anchor text. And so if I don't like this, I could check the box and just delete that. Or I could just as quickly go in, I can edit, click the edit, that's gonna take me over to the post and I can just edit that anchor text and be on my way, which is probably what I need to do in this case. But having all of this in one spot where you can see makes it so much faster and easier if you're truly optimizing for the anchor text that you want to on your website. So I'd highly recommend you do that. That gets more valuable as you find blog posts that have more and more internal links. You can start to figure out, is this really optimized for the right thing? And this will help you rank better in Google. Strategy number four is to remove internal links quickly. So let's take a look at the internal link reporting once again. As I mentioned, I showed you here, right? If I've got internal links that I want to remove, right? Like this maybe doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm talking about hair salons and then I've got anchor text for beauty treatments um, and the beauty industry. I probably just want to remove those. I'm not really trying to rank for those. So I'm going to just click delete selected and there you have it. It's going to go out to those two other blog posts. It's going to remove that anchor text and that internal link and that's going to be removed and that's it. It's all done. All right. Strategy number five is one of my favorite. Using a related post widget will help you get more clicks, more page views, and it can all be automated. And this is a brand new feature added to Link Whisper in the last few months. So let's check it out. All right, so here I have an article on 20 Amazon business ideas, just a blog post. But at the very end, if you scroll, you can see that I'm using a related post widget powered by Link Whisper. And it fits the style and the theme on my website. And it's related, right? It has things uh, that are also kind of e-commerce related, eBay, shopping. It pulls in the image, the anchor text, and all of this, so this provides five internal related post links to other articles that people might want to read. That makes them click more, it makes them read more, and it provides that internal link juice to go to other articles on your website. So let me just show you the back end of how you can create these using Link Whisper. So there's actually a related post settings. You can activate the widget and you can do it with a short code or otherwise, and then you have what I really want to show is that you have full power. You can do the styling, you can change the title, you can do it for only posts or pages. And then you, again, you can change the styling within here. You can make it a double row, single row, triple row, number of links that you want. And then you can show your styling options here. There's a ton of different things. The font, the colors, you can have a background color, the size of the images, the padding between the images. And so if you're not using a related post plugin already, I would highly recommend that you use one. Or if you're going to use Link Whisper, you don't need a separate related posts plugin. You can do it all right within Link Whisper to get these great looking related post links and images on your articles. Now, if you're enjoying these strategies, could you go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe button for me? Also, if you want to start using Link Whisper on your site today, just go over to linkwhisper.com and use coupon code 9YouTube at checkout in order to get $25 off. The link and code are also in the description of this video. Now, strategy number six is to use accessible links. Clearly marking your links that go to an external website is not only the right thing to do for those with visual or cognitive disabilities, but it also will keep you on the right side of the law for a growing number of countries. Many websites have been sued for not making their website accessible. Using Link Whisper accessible links will help you meet those requirements. So let's check out how to do accessible links with Link Whisper. So what is an accessible link? Here's just an example. When you have an external link, you'll add a little icon and 
a little text that shows, hey, this link goes to an external website. So it gives more information about the link. So if I click this, people know that, hey, this is going to an external link. And you can make sure that you want to go to that before you do it. So this is, again, you can do it automatically. You can have it a little icon that looks different for buttons or for internal links or external links. And again, you have a lot of different settings that you can use. So where you're going to do this is just under advanced settings. And you can come down here to add an icon to external links. And you have different icon options that you can do. You know, if you like that one better, you can do the uh, color of the icon. You can have the text and uh, you can do it for buttons and you can do it for internal links if you want. So there's a lot of different options, but using accessible links is becoming more and more important. As I said, you wanna stay on the right side of the law and more and more countries are passing legislation that do require websites to be more accessible. Okay, strategy number seven is to use target keywords to get better link suggestions. So let's take a look. Now, there's lots of different settings that can give you target keywords. For example, you can just pull in the target keywords that you're using for Yoast or Rank Math. That's what I would recommend. But then you can come to the target keywords page, and this will show you all the target keywords for specific blog posts. So this is targeting sell books online, but it also pulls in the title and uh, selling books online and a couple other things. And if you want to edit that, you just click the edit button. That'll take you over to uh, the post here and it'll take you down to the section where you can edit the different target keywords that you have. The reason you want to do this is because again, this will tell Link Whisper which internal links to build because if you're trying to rank for sell books online, you want Link Whisper to know that that's the type of internal link suggestions that it should recommend. Or if you're building these manually, you want to be thinking about that. Every time this phrase of sell books online or selling books online is used, hey, I have an article called how to sell books online. I want that article to rank for that keyword. And so by specifying target keywords and only using those target keywords for one article on your site, that's going to help you rank better using your internal links. Now, strategy number eight is perhaps my favorite way to use Link Whisper. Find and fix orphaned post. So let's take a look at how to do that. So the last thing that you want on your website is an article that you've published and it has zero internal links pointing to it. All right, and I have some examples, unfortunately, right? So I've got this three great alternatives to envelope stuffing jobs. It was just recently published. It has zero inbound internal links, and I have a few other articles here as well. So what I would do is just click the Add button, and Link Whisper will go out, and it'll find relevant internal links that I can build to this article. All right, so Link Whisper just finished scanning my site, and it recommends a bunch of internal links that might work for this envelope stuffing job. As I look at this, right, some of them might not work, but this one might work. Alternative to working a traditional job, I could go in here and I could edit this anchor text or this sentence if I wanted to uh, write something about envelope stuffing. And then I could hit uh, all I, you know, I hit save. And then all I do is I hit add links and that will then go out to that article it will add that internal link. And finally, strategy number nine is to link to other sites that you own. Now, this is a strategy that sites have been using for a long time. If you have two sites that are related to each other where it makes sense, for example, I own both nichepursuits.com and linkwhisper.com. And there are cases where it makes sense to internally link, if you will, back and forth to each of those sites. And that boosts the rankings for both sites. Now, you can do that on your own just as you think, or you can use Link Whisper. There actually is an option within the settings of Link Whisper to connect two sites that you own. So again, if I come over to the advanced settings within Link Whisper, there's just an option here where you can set up another website that you own, you can internally link, and that way when you're writing your blog post within Link Whisper, it will actually suggest links to that external site that you own and you can automatically add those internal links directly within Link Whisper. And of course, all of this doesn't even include the main features of Link Whisper. 
Link Whisper can help you add internal links as you edit your post. Then as soon as you hit publish, I'd recommend adding a brand new internal link pointing to the article you just published using Link Whisper to make it fast and easy. And if you wanna dive into the world of auto linking, Link Whisper has that feature as well. Go ahead and use coupon code 9YouTube to get $25 off Link Whisper today. Oh, and if you haven't seen my internal link building case study video, you should check that out.